I am back today with an unboxing video. Super duper excited about this one. It is the Maggie Holmes Garden Party Collection. And oh, if ever there was a collection made for me, I feel like this one could be it. I love it so much and I cannot wait to get creating with it. Uh, so I really wanted to get this um, unboxing done so that I can start cutting up this pretty paper. Uh, so yeah, so I'll just show you all the goodies that I got in the collection. Um, let's go. Okay, so I thought we might start with the uh, 6x8 paper pad. I did get this one uh, because I knew it had the gold foiling on it. Uh, I've also talked a little bit that I like the smaller format prints sometimes for when I'm backing cut files and also on my uh, photo mounts because my edges on my photo mounts are quite thin. I do like a smaller print so that you can kind of get a feel for all of the design when I'm doing my page mounts. Uh, so yeah, grabbed this one, 6x8, and uh, I think it says 24 sheets. I think it's one of each. So, oh, look at that. How lovely, the silence of growing things. So this is all a, all a floral collection, pretty much. How lovely is that? Oh, I love that. So it's very Maggie. It's very, um, kind of reminds me a little bit of Chasing Dreams in terms of the color palette. Um, yeah, I just knew as soon as I saw it, I would love this. I like how that's like a little farm sort of, has like a farmhouse vibe. Really, really pretty. Some more gold foil. Love that. Oh, that's nice too. Look at all the layers of the florals, like different sizes. I like how the leaves intertwine into each other. Really pretty. I love this green too. It's a very bright green. It's almost a Christmas green, not a traditional like a forest Christmas green, but a bright, happy Christmas green. I love that so much. And a stripe, so they're very neutral. You could use them on anything. Little cut apart sheet with a gold foil. That's pretty. I like that element too, just like the XOXO. Very pretty. A pink spot. Love that. Oh, it's another little kind of um, garden. It's got a bit of a farmhouse vibe. Oh, I like that. I like the little greenhouses. They're cute. And the fountain. It's fancy. Fancy farmhouse. Another a black and white print. Oh, this one's very gold. It's got foxes and squirrels and little bunnies. I think that's going to end up being a photo mat, that one. It's a bit busy and it's very gold and very sparkly. This is like a floral kind of wallpaper, a little bit uh, like Willow Lane kind of feel to it. Oh, that's pretty too. I like the floral on the dark background. You don't see that a lot, and I really love that. Oh, I love that. That's really pretty. A uh, nice simple check like that. Oh, another. This one's another gold, but with a blue and white background. That's interesting. I think that one will end up being a photo mat as well. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty. Just a little simple flower pattern repeated and oh yes some mauve I liked that this collection had a little bit of purple in it as well uh, it's really hard to find in scrapbooking and now that I've uh, changed my mind about purple and I when I find it I like to grab it because it is a little bit harder to find than some of the other color palettes so yeah I really like those they're really pretty another little floral that one you could fussy cut I think Wow, that's that's a, a lot. I don't know about this one. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know about that one. So they're like fern leaves, and the leaf print is actually quite pretty. Uh, I think it's because it's gold on green. I don't know. Hmm, we'll see. Uh, that's pretty. It's like simple black and grey tone. Love that. Uh, a mustard. That's nice. Uh, a ledger paper that's pretty too and I think that's it so yeah one of each design that's the only thing that's a little bit concerning with that I may end up getting another one of these paper pads because 
often if I'm backing, say, a larger design, if I'm backing a larger cut file, one sheet's not quite enough. So I'll have a think about that. I may end up grabbing a second uh, paper pad just so that I've got two of each. Uh, so there's that. Love it. Okay, so onto the 12 by 12 pattern papers. Uh, there are so many in this collection. I did not get them all because I felt like it would be too much. Uh, and since I've been going through my Maggie Home stash and stash busting, I'm kind of getting a feel for just how much product it takes to make a page and I did pull myself back here. Uh, but they're all beautiful, they are so lovely. Uh, I did end up going with single sheets rather than the paper pad for this one. I do prefer the single sheets just because they're thicker, the quality of the paper is nicer, but you do miss out on the gold foiling. So I kind of feel like what I'm getting in the gold foiling I've got in the 6x8 paper pad, and then I'll get the, the better quality sheets um, from, you know, as an individual sheet and, and use that better quality paper that's double-sided. Anyway, that's my, that's my thought process. Um, so this is the first one I got and I did get three of these. I know, I know, right. It's called, uh, mm, Blooming, I want to say Blooming. Um, I got it because I'm going to use that for days. I could make a hundred layouts with with this pattern paper i know that i will fussy cut out those florals um i know that it will be great as a photo mat i know that this is a you know very basic beautiful background so i could absolutely see my first page as something like that and then the fussy cut florals out from the center and then i've only got one sheet left so uh, yeah i definitely am happy that i got three of those because that's beautiful love that one uh i got this one just one of this one it's a cut apart on one side this one's called taking notes and it's just a bunch of like note paper i'm not sure that i'll use that but i did like this it's like a tile print it's a really pretty green also thought that could be good as a background that's not white because you know that i like to do that so i love that one uh this one i did get two of i believe yeah this one reminds me of Oh, there was another pattern paper and I want to say it's from Chasing Dreams, but I am guessing. Uh, but there was absolutely another uh, wood grain pattern paper like this in one of her previous collections. Uh, so this one's called Trellis and I definitely got it for that side. However, <laughs> this is the B side. So I had to get two of these uh, because that rainbow, I'm going to call it a rainbow. I know it's not a rainbow. Um, it's gorgeous. I love it. That's the, that's the colors in the collection and they are all so lovely. I really, really love those. So uh, there's no way I'm choosing between those two sides. So I got one of each for that one. I got two of this one as well because yes, I like the stripe, uh, but I prefer this floral. So again, me and florals, uh, for days, um, I will always run out of a floral first. So I thought it was worth getting two of this one. This one's called Wildflower. Really love that. Really love that. So it's that one. Uh, this one, Pink Rosebuds. So again, it's a floral. I think I did only get one of this one. It does have that mauve, uh, feel to it. Yeah, I think I only got one of those. Uh, and it's got that, um, tile print, similar tile print to the blue but in mauve. So I really like that. I think, I think I'll probably end up using, I think I'm going to probably end up using this side more than this side. I like um, the vibrant shade of the mauve. I like how saturated that color is. I think it's really pretty. Um, I probably will fussy cut out some florals. We'll see. We'll see. Um, then I got this one. I think I only got one of this as well. This is the black and white grayscale. Uh, floral which I quite like but I also like this just basic gingham gingham check pink check love that I've used uh, that pattern in as background before as well even though it's quite bright um, so I'm not sure which side of this one I'll be going with we will have to wait and see uh, that one is called rose bush Okay, next is this one. It's just a like a neutral kind of uh, grid design. Again, I thought this would be very good for 
a background that's not plain white and I did definitely get it for this side besides that um, mustard kind of wallpapery print I'm not sure about this one it's called country arbor arbor okay country arbor uh, yeah, so I definitely think that this is going to be the winner for this page. And I can see that absolutely as a background uh, starting point for a page. Okay, this one, Happy Day, is a cut apart sheet. So lots of really cute little elements to fussy cut, cut, fussy cut up and layer. Love those sweet little butterflies. I like these little um, icons as well. Um, definitely can use tags and these little pieces to layer in uh, under my embellishment clusters. So as the base of my embellishment clusters, love this as well. And on the back, we have a very teal, very saturated uh, blue. I, I'm not sure where this color fits in, to be honest, because if you look at this, doesn't really fit in there, does it? <laughs> I, I would have thought it would be more this this shade of blue. Uh, that's what I was sort of expecting. It's cute though. Uh, so yeah, so there's that. It's not even the same as that. It's a different, yeah, it's not even the same shade as that. It's a bit out there, we'll see. Uh, so I definitely think I'll be using uh, the cut apart sheet for this one. More florals. Uh, this one is freshly picked. I think I did get two, two of these. Oh, I did get another one of those. There's that same one again. I did get two of those. Hmm. Um, I got two of these. Uh, yeah, freshly picked. I do like those lovely big, big uh, flowers. They wouldn't take much to fussy cut, but I'll definitely use this side as well. Again, a really nice base page. A really nice simple pattern to mix in with the florals because you you know you can't have busy and busy and busy and busy so it's nice to have a couple of choices in the collection to mix and match that are more neutral like that um yeah so but then you put that that's very busy so yeah uh i'll be doing that with those this one is that really sweet um dainty flower but i actually bought it for this side uh sewn sewn mm. I think it's just sewn interesting as in like oh it's not sewn as in s-e-w-n i don't know anyway, sewn uh it's just sort of strips of uh paint essentially in a ombre of sorts i really like that again another neutral that i thought would go i actually thought this one would go quite well with this one so pulling in those mauve tones for uh, this one. So yeah, I thought that that was a really nice neutral that I could mix and match with that one. Um, but that's really sweet too. And it does have little elements of um, the mauve. So maybe, maybe that and that could work. That's quite cute. And then you could add perhaps, perhaps, although I probably won't have any left, but perhaps you could add a little bit of that yellow maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I still prefer that side. Uh, and lucky last, this one is called Blossom in Blue. And so it's got that pretty same sort of similar rose motive and a ledger paper. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. We'll see. So, yep, yeah, that's all the pattern paper that I got. There was stacks more. So many different prints in this collection. Uh, but that's what I chose to uh, start with. Uh, now let's get on to some of the embellishments. Okay, so first up the chipboard, 12 by 12 chipboard sheet. And I'm happy to report this one looks good. Oh, let's, there we go. That's better. Oh uh, yeah, this looks good. Nice and lined up, which is lovely. I love that swan. Um, love the little birdies. We've seen those. We've seen similar icons with Maggie before. Gotta love the bows, and there's actually quite a few in this collection, which I'm very happy about. Um, yeah, interesting. I do feel like the pieces are spaced more apart in this one. Maybe it's me. I feel like they're maybe that's just their way of doing a better job of having everything line up, but this looks good. Looks really good. Um, yeah, so I like the floral elements. I like the see that's the same shade of blue, which is not that not that heart one. Oh, maybe that one's more of that shade of blue. Interesting. 
Uh, yeah, so really happy with that. Super, super cute. Okay, so I did get the uh, thickers, garden party thickers. So I will pull these out. I wasn't going to, but I will for a moment. Oh, there we go. Okay, so, oh, that looks a bit out, doesn't it? That one looks a bit out. That's all right. I probably wouldn't use that one anyway. I might use it as a layering piece. Uh, but these are cute, and they're not too thick. I wonder if you can see. They're not super thick. They're more like a puffy sticker than a thicker to me. Um, yeah, I like those floral elements. I like the cute little teacups. They're nice. They're very gold, though. The gold is is a very yellow gold. It's not soft at all. It's, yeah, it's quite shouty. It's quite a shouty gold. <laughs> um, these are cute. Had to get these. Aren't they lovely? I'm all about them bows. Uh, so definitely we'll use those. Uh, I like this too, this XOXO. I like these. Think happy, be happy. Yeah, there's a few little uh, fl oh, uh, floral elements. Not little. That one's not so little. How big is that one? I've got my ruler. That one is like three inches. So it's quite large. Uh, but they're very nice. Very nice. Love those. So that's the thickers. I did also get the cardboard stickers. Uh, and there seems to be more on here than on the on the thicker sheet. These these ones seem a little smaller in size. Comparing, let's see, have I got one like that? Yeah. So comparing this one and this one, this one is like two and a half inches. Mm. That one's like two and a quarter inches. So it's a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. Uh, cute though, lots of little uh, floral elements, lots more bows. There are a ton of bows in this collection. Uh, beautiful, love that as a title. Uh, a little grey. I like when they repeat there's elements in the pattern paper that you see in the, you know, cardstock stickers that you also see in the chipboard. So there's a little grey. Remember there's this grey couple of grey elements in the chipboard and then a grey, yeah, a grey sticker here. I like how they, they kind of, they don't have to be exactly the same icon, but I like when there's elements that pull together, that you can pull together. Another title, lovely. That's really nice. I like that font. It's really pretty. Some cute little birdies, more birds, and these tabs are always handy for in the paper layers. So they're cute. Love those too. I also did get the puffy stickers and as sort of expected, they're a little bit tiny. Um, I should know better. They usually are tiny. Um, the only ones I really like the size of are the cocoa vanilla ones. They're always really good. Um, these ones are cute though. Like it's very cute little butterflies and things. It's just, yeah, it's just hard to know where to put a teeny tiny bow but I will find a place. Oh, it, it will be my mission to find places for these sweet little tiny, tiny little bows. The little bicycle might be a bit harder. <laughs> we will see. They are super cute though. I hope you can see those. Can you see those? Yeah, they are really nice. I do like those. Uh, so that's the puffy stickers. I did also get the... Um, what do they call this? Sticker book, I guess. The sticker book. Uh, and there is a load of stickers in here. And they are, although they are better quality than some of the other ones that I have had in the past, the American Craft ones. Um, but they like, they're almost transparent. So if you don't want them to be transparent, you have to stick them onto just some photocopy paper and then fussy cut them out. So, um, but I do like, I like the feel of them. They're like shiny and plasticky yeah i want to say plasticky but they're not they don't say clear stickers they kind of are clear stickers uh so there's eight sheets in here so a ton of stickers including this alpha that's a cardboard though that's not plastic um it's a cardboard sheet but there's oodles in here oodles and oodles so many florals some more titles there you make today better. That's nice. You are so loved. Yeah, I love sentiments like that. 
little tea party. I'm not sure about those. We'll see. I do like the little tray. We might have to go and have high tea so that I can take a photo so that I can scrapbook it. Um, and these are cardstock as well. They're cute though. I do love a sentiment sticker. We know that. I like how the fonts are different too, how they're not all the same font. I like how it's mixing and matching. Some are larger fonts than others. And then there's like just the little sweet little hearts. Yeah, they're cute. I like that. That's nice. Very cute. Okay, I also got, and I love these, the resin. They're called resin stickers, but they're hearts. Let's have a look at this. Finishing touch for any project, any project finishing touch. They're cute and they come on the clear sheet, which is good because I can position them. I can audition them and position them before I stick them down. They look like they're stuck pretty solid, actually. There's adhesive all over the back of them. And they're quite layered. I don't know if you can see that. So they're a, I want to say they're acrylic. It says resin. So, yeah. To me, they look like, you know, those acrylic words that you might have seen. I think, uh, who did those? Oh, I forget the name. You've seen them. They kind of look like that. They're quite thick. I want to say they're probably, I want to say they're like two or three mil thick. They're quite thick. They sit quite, quite high and they seem very solid to me. They're really nice. I really like them. They are very gold. But I want to say they're not as yellow. Oh, maybe it's just different because they're, they're sparkly. It's all very gold though. <laughs> Cute though. I like that. I like them a lot. I bet I use those in no time. The only thing that would make them better is if they had a slightly smaller size as well. A bit like these from Bella Boulevard. If they had them in a slightly smaller size, that would make these next level. Okay, so that's those. I do have one more embellishment pack. So I thought I might pull out some trays for this. So this is 40 piece ephemera pack. Let's open it up. Mm. Oh, okay, hang on. There we go. So this is the first layer. I'll put that in this bowl. I will put them all together. Uh, so it's a mix of vellum, that one's vellum, some chipboard, not chipboard, uh, die, and die cut, paint, cardstock die cut. There's that one again. So again, repeated sentiments in, uh, or repeated icons in the die cuts in the stickers. I'm sure she was a sticker, wasn't she? Oh, maybe not. She was a, I know she was definitely a puppy sticker. Where is she? Is she a puppy sticker? Where do we see her? Must have been chipboard. Yeah. There she is. So the die cut piece is actually quite a bit bigger than the chipboard piece. You can see that. Cute. Another bow. Yay. Uh, some more uh, tags. I need to do, I think I said this last time I did a, an unboxing. I need to do more with some tags. Note to self, remind me in the comments below. Gwen, you need to do something with tags. Uh, some nice cute frames. They're cute like those. More floral elements. Die cut pieces. Cute little fox. Um, some more floral. Oh, a gold bow. Oh, that's a bit cute. Uh, some more of those grey elements. And some layering pieces. They're cute. Yeah, really like those. They're really cute. Cute. Very sweet. Uh, and then these are the larger ones. I'm glad that they're not all giant. They're still pretty big, but I think they have made a move. Definitely compared to, I was working today, earlier today with the Crepe Paper Fresh Bouquet and everything in that collection is giant. So it's definitely, uh, definitely a better mix, I think, in terms of sizes in this collection. So maybe they are listening to us. Maybe American Crafts are hearing that uh, us scrapbookers would like some elements that are not giant. Uh, it's cute. It's cute. And then these are like more layering pieces, journaling spots. I don't know how my OCD is going to go with the um, torn edges. Is that the look that that's going for? I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll 
See, this one's straight, except for the top part. That's all right. Noted. Poppies. Oh, that's pretty. That's a tag that matches that pattern paper. That's pretty. That's pretty too. Vellum with the gold. Love that. Precious memories. You are so loved and remember this. I like those. I've used those before, that style of banner, and that hasn't bothered me. So that's good. Uh, sunshine on my mind. What else have we got? Hello, my lovely. That's nice. Oh, I like that sentiment. Hello, my lovely. I might make a title. That's cute. Tag. These are really nice for uh, layering pieces, just simple patterns and prints. Same with that. I, will, I won't use that. You won't see that on a page, but you would definitely see that uh, added as a layer for something. Another vellum die cut floral piece. Some more tabs. Another pretty tag. You shine. And lucky last is this one. Uh, and I think that's everything. Yes, yes, that's all of the elements that I got in the Maggie Holmes Garden Party Collection. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all the pieces uh, in this line. If you were thinking about grabbing it, it's really, really pretty. It's it's very traditional Maggie, I think. It's sort of back to what she was doing a little while ago. As I mentioned earlier, I think there's a lot of elements in the collection that remind me of Chasing Dreams. And Chasing Dreams is my favourite all-time Maggie collection. So I am really looking forward to creating with these goodies. And um, I'm hopeful that I'll be back with a video uh, sharing my latest project using these ones very, very soon. Thank you so much for being here, my creative friends. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.